Let the damage test begin. I just messed that up. I think I just, did I say damage? Let the damage test begin. All right, that's our YouTube intro. We're going to start with Leviathan's Breath. I know no, there's no change to Leviathan's Breath. We're going to start with Leviathan's Breath as a baseline. Now I'm going to take off artifacts. We're going to do that as a baseline. By the way, power level does not matter here. I say this every single time. Power level does not matter here. We are going to do bets. The first bet we're going to do, which one is going to do more damage? Leviathan's Breath or Whisper of the Worm? 33 says Leviathan's Breath, 67% say Whisper? Really? All right, that's Levy Breath. Let's see what we got here. 790,000, that's nice, that's nice. One more shot. Are you kidding me? It squeezed out one more shot. That's crazy. Next on the list. Uh, Dragon's Breath, Bane Switch Supremacy. It's just, a, it's an interesting combo. A combo that I, I mean, I, I've used inside of Warlord's Ruin. What makes Dragon's Breath so good uh, is it kind of works like an anarchy, right? Where you place a shot and then you swap over uh, and do damage with your special weapon. Well, look, 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 the thing about Dragon's Breath is just how the sheer amount of ammo you can hold. You know what I mean? Like, I've got no reserve. No, look at this. Look at this. This is the buff I'm talking about. I've got no reserve perks on. And look how much ammo. I'm holding nine shots with my Dragon's Breath. And that it, Dragon's Breath, for some reason, got hit in that rocket launcher uh, ammo buff. You know, I may just do another rocket shot right then. 765,000. Okay. All right. Not bad. And keep in mind, I had eight shots of Dragon's Breath left. All right. Now, this is the prediction. Which one is going to do more damage in this case? Again, I'm, it's, like our, it's like our snapshot of what we would be doing in a damage phase. Yes, Anarchy. Now, Anarchy is, is actually kind of bad. It got a it got an ammo bump with the change, so uh, it's actually kind of back. So we're gonna keep rocket supremacy here. The difference is you can't have multiple people on your team rocking dragon's breath because it doesn't the ignitions there won't stack. But anarchy you can have you can have multiple people rocking anarchy right? There's no diminishing of damage, correct? You can, you know, you can stack it with your teammates. It just, it's, you don't get more damage out of you placing more than two. The tag damage. Oh, man. 609. I'm pretty sure we got 609 earlier, right? around that mark all right let's bring out let's bring out the big sh then all right what was our leviathan's breath damage that the violence breath is our, our is our benchmark right now 789 all right all right i'm being told leviathan's breath 789 here's prospector is going to beat this or not All right, so one, two mags, two mags, all I can get out. But dude, look how much ammo I have left. Holy sh! Look how much ammo I have left. Good God! Five hundred sixty-seven thousand. All right, so obviously the DPS isn't there, but 
Got a ton of ammo. All right, everyone is saying that cry muni. I'm being told that cry muni is the meta. What what is it about cry muni that suddenly makes it the meta now? It's a meme. That's I, that's just what you guys are saying. Six hundred fifty-two thousand. All right. I need lots of orbs right here, guys. Damn, dude. Put now, man. That's putting out. All right, let me keep looking. Let's see what else I got. See, I have a cataphract, but it's 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 not envious assassin. It's demo. But how do we feel about this? No spike equals L. Pretty small difference, guys. I mean. It, it, it may be enough to move the needle for you, but you're talking 34,889 damage with spike versus 34,086 damage with no spike. That's a 2.4% difference. Now that is, that is per shot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's run it forward. Let's run it forward. Let's say I had a clown cartridge roll, right? I had 34,889 times nine. That's 314,000. So let's say nine shots, 34,889. Okay. Then let's say 34,086 damage times nine. That's 306,000. But hold up. Hold up. What if instead of saying, instead of saying spike is the way to go and that's the meta, what if it's actually this perk? I have six rounds here. Hold on, hold on. Seven rounds. Seven rounds. More time. More time. But what if, what if low key mini frag is the meta? I don't frag. No. What if it is though? No, hold on. The, the point is, the point is this. If, if, if we were to have 10 rounds, it would be 34,000 or it would be 340,860. Right here is what I just typed in right now. 34,000. 889 damage with spike. 34,086 damage with no spike. 314,000 for at nine rounds. This is if I had clown cartridge. 340,860 at 10 rounds. You see, you get one more shot off. Now, obviously, you got you have to calculate the time it takes to shoot that last shot off. But the point is, I don't know if spike is necessarily the way to go anymore. You know, it's it's probably still. I mean, what's impact casing, guys? What's the buff from impact casing? Oh my God, it's the same damage increase. 2.2% there from, from impact casing. It's literally impact. It's not necessary now, but it's still the best. I don't even know if it's still the best. You know, I, I think that, for instance, my clown cartridge roll, if, if it could give me a 10th round or an 11th round, I may go mini frags. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. In terms of total damage, yes. The point is, you don't have to chop your dick off to get spike grenades on your grenade launcher. It's not, it's not necessary. Not as necessary. Up top again, guys. All right, this is a bait and switch cataphract with Dimma. That was good. That was solid, man. Just the thing is, this roll doesn't have spike. 821,065. Okay. I'm going to take a look at something real quick. I have this cascade roll spike grenade auto loading holster. I'm going to kind of put ourselves in a situation as if I'm, you know, doing damage. So let me see. What, what procs, what procs cascade really quickly? Oh, I could use Cloud Strike. Yeah. That would be a real scenario. 
use Trinity to go for a quicker Cascade proc? No, I'm using a... A real damage scenario. Of which we... Am I just repeating myself? I We're using Cloud Strike because this is what you would normally be using. Probably something along these lines. Maybe something else. But something along these lines. Alright, whatever. Could we have gotten off one more shot? Maybe. Let's try that. About damn time. Alright. I knew we were going to get the rotation right here soon. We're going to do the exact same thing, except we have our... Craftable... Regnant. Regnants. <laughs> Alright, seems like 18 is all I can get. You sure we can get the 21? If the base mag was 7, okay. Oh, so that's if we had augmented. Okay. Alright. Got 18 rounds. Let's do this. Ah, uh, it's a lot of hoops, but think about what are you doing between damage phases, guys? You know, you're more than likely doing damage and killing ass, right? So, Prog and Envious Assassin is going into the damage phases. It's super manageable. Guys, please kill his ass. Oh my god. What the f dude? That was almost so perfect. Oh, you can only shoot nine shots with Cascade? Yeah, that's with enhanced Cascade, too. Yeah, we might have squeezed off more damage there. What's our top damage today, guys? Was it with, um, was it with Wendigo? A Clown Cartridge Wendigo? You should refresh Cascade halfway through? You think so? You think I should do that? Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, you can easily just reproc it again. That's cooking, dude. We might have actually been able to achieve. Now, keep in mind, your total damage is still shit. All right, guys, I, mean, I just want everybody to know. Your total damage, that's, that's literally me, me blowing my entire load. Is this good? Yes. But only if you have a way, a means of transferring yourself, like getting yourself enough head, right? Y'all want to just try Colony real quick? We're on the topic of grenade launchers. Dude, what if Colony is somehow secretly the meta? Then we didn't know about it. Well, Colony is definitely not it. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on. What, what, what would y'all say is the best DPS to do with Apex? Lord of Wolves? Really? Malfeasance Lucky Pants? I don't know if we should do that. I feel like that's just... Izanagi, the double fire grenade launcher. Let me, let me give you one better. Let me do Crux Termination. This is, this is Crux by itself. This is no Argent, no Argent Ordnance, none of that. Damn, that's putting out. That is putting out, dude. Mm -mm -mm. Chat, um, there's a video I put out not that long ago. It was a really detailed video, which is why we're not going to be testing every single rocket launcher today. But I will mention this in the uh, the live cut for this. It was actually for our, our DPS video here. Our, the best DPS rocket is our Crux review. But we go into to detail, great detail, of DPS comparisons to other rockets. Um... I still urge you, you know, even with the DPS video that we're going to be putting out, the damage testing video we're going to put out, to look at this. I, 
I definitely wanted to just take your eggplants and do a thing where I was going to say, hey, can Apex Predator beat Crux? The reality is no. No, it can't. Um, but I will, I will link this video in with our damage testing if you guys want to look into that in more depth. Obviously, sliding for DPS is, is difficult. And this is by no means saying that you should go out and kill yourself to get a crux with side shot surrounded or explosive light. Um, but it just kind of gives us some point of references for where things sit. And even though I, I kind of want to try like some of our other rockets, really it just kind of comes back to our original video we did uh, way back. And even though I didn't include the damage numbers here, uh, the damage from precision rockets and high impact ro rockets were nowhere near good enough to to throw up on the list. So I don't think it's worth putting it, you know, going there and the, doing the testing on it, guys. Let's do a prediction. Which will do more damage, Deathbringer or Crux? Oh my god, dude. Track on is just so damn slow. It's so slow. Can I join you? I'll show you the power of Deathbringer. You're Sherpa? Come show me the power of Deathbringer. Please do. Sherpa, if you do not break 750,000 damage, you will be banned from the stream. But please come join me, brother. Get it, baby. You're Sherpa. Okay, first up, Sharpa, you're rocking Radiant Dance Machines, which is already kind of cheating. And secondly, it wasn't good damage. Man, this thing is... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it, it is a difficult weapon to f***ing use. Deathbringer is, is f***ing difficult. If you want to pro sleep this user, let me tell you something, Liv. I can I can guarantee you there is nothing meta about this. But for you, I will give it a go. Wow. Nice, nice, big damage. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Alright, I'm gonna go get on my hunter. Put on radiant dance machines. I'm going to track down thy parasite. We're going to do an eggplant bed right now. Prediction. Will this break 700 and, or will this break 800,000 damage? Not yet. Don't break it. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. I got to get home. I got to get home. Time's Oh, We'll do it after this one. This ain't up right now, 800,000 men. There ain't no way. There ain't way. You guys just don't realize how sh this grenade launcher actually is. Let me just say this though. All the fact that radiant dance machines have to be used here to pick this up, guys. Come on. Come on. The damage should be a with the fact that you have to get 20 kills with this thing, the times 20 should be literally a mini nuke. It should be a damn it should be as powerful as as uh, grand overture. It is with surges and stuff, but you can literally say that with everything. You know what I mean? You can literally say that with everything. All right, Chad, that's the best I can do. I got the I got the proc. But like, if you say something is good with surges, it's like, all right. But you can say that literally about everything. And right now we're doing a base-to-base -base comparison. Oh my God. Ah, damn it, dude. That's a lot of damage. This damage is shit, guys. At the end of the day, what you're watching right now, this is terrible, terrible damage. This is not good damage. This is having to be done with Rage and Cannon. Please, some of you are just now showing God. Please watch the whole cut of this whenever we do finally put it out. And you will see that the, the, the damage here is awful. 
Do not, whatever you do, do not walk away from the day stream and pick up a parasite. It will not go good for you. Dude, somebody came in the stream the other day and was like, way to recommend everyone Thunderlord. My LFG's been fucked up. First up, I have never recommended LFGs to use Thunderlord. I've always recommended Grand Overture. There are moments that I like Thunderlord, but how the fuck did I get included in that? Thunderlord isn't even bad though, but they're much better off, sure. There's just people that swear up and down by Thunderlord. Grand Overture is worse. Perfect, perfect opportunity for us to do this. I love this. Can we just get this thing going? Can we me? God damn it, mother. Put the well down. Let's do this. Shit. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. done. 799,000. That's the best we can get. Parasite's dick. We're doing it. This is the last, <clears throat> last prediction of the day. Dude, I'm losing my voice. Five minutes. Everyone get in on this. Which will do more damage? Grand Overture. Xena. Sleeper. Oh, Thunderlord. What, what was the fifth one? 1K Voices. There we go. Let me get let me get my my acting war rig on. Alright, it seems in the lead is Grand Overture. Number two is Sleeper Simulant. Number four is 1K Voice. Or number three is 1K Voice. Number four is Thunderlord. Number five is Xenopage. I better back away from the well, please. Let us see. You know, at one time Xeno was literally, it was the meta. Don't know that? It was the meta. All right, 1K voices. I pay to win ornament on. All right, I got a little more into him that time. Five hundred ninety-three. All right. Next we have sleeper. I'll pull out Thunderlord, but I'm also gonna put in. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna look at Doom Petitioner. If I don't forget real quick, dude, I can't believe that this is just expanding. Everything here is just expanding. Doom's gonna cook. We'll see. But let's finish our prediction first, guys. I know, right? Dude, I said the last damage test a second ago. There it is. It can't get much better than that, dude. That pre-fire was perfect. Did you see that? Perfect. I killed myself. There we go. There we go. All right. That's just that one extra shot in there. Sleeper's in the lead now. Yep. Now sleeper, sleeper just came out and beat um, beat Zeno. Thunderlord's gonna crush every weapon. I love it, man. I love the belief right now. I love it. This is what I live for. Taking you. your beliefs, your confidence in something, your conviction, and then just. The damage! That's bad. <laughs> there were there are, there have been people come by. I've seen comments about how I've ruined LFG because of my recommendation of Thunderlord. And I I must ask, where did I recommend this? I have never ever jumped up and said hey guys please use thunderlord except maybe like if it's like look if you're having if you're struggling or something and 
can do DPS for the dam, then use Thunderlord because of his ease of use. And see, guys, this is where you fucked up in this bet. Because today, today we're not playing with pre-charged Grand Overture. Today we're playing with the basic ass Grand Overture. Cross, you cheated. What? I cheated. We're looking at a real situation, a real scenario in which we do damage. Damn. Damn. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now we're gonna now we're now we're actually gonna rock it. We're gonna overcharge it, okay? We're gonna overcharge it. The way it's supposed to be. I know. Everyone say I'm scamming right now. We're gonna do it right now. Alright, that clears. We knew it was gonna clear, guys. Grand overture is just it's good with that pre-charge right for short damage windows like that it's solid for long damage windows though keep in mind grand overture it it becomes weaker in comparison to to its uh uh competitors m1 m1 i was hoping sleeper would squeak squeak by all right now let me let me try this weapon this is doom petitioner i got ball spec on i got reconstruction i got precision let me try this one real quick Oh, we got that last person. Okay. 664. Gives you kind of an idea of what we're looking at. It was 696 with Sleeper. All right. Now, let's try... Let's try... Um, let's try Briar's Contempt here. And uh, for Surrounded... Uh, give me the... Give me the well on top of here, guys. We need all the ads. I just want to make sure I don't lose this. Ooh. Okay. Or I mean, I don't know. Maybe you could, I could have squeezed off a little more damage there. But I mean, that's just showing you surrounded on this archetype, which is good. And this is my one of my favorite roles right here. Rewind rounds and surrounded together. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I don't. I don't think Fire and Forget is gonna offer anything else better here. <clears throat> Even even with ambush, it's not gonna offer anything anything else better here. Um someone's gonna ask though, but this is gonna be the last one of tonight. What about what about cataclysmic? Let's try it, let's try it by itself. I don't wanna fudge the numbers up too much. Off. and then i would have to reload that's rough dude that's rough if i was to take a backup mag and do but i didn't do that with any of the other linears so 571 thousand is what we're looking like now with our, our bait and switch cataclysmic all right guys that's it man um we will have a cut on all of this what i will say for rocket launcher testing i know we didn't really dive into high impacts and precisions but they do fall far behind, um, even after the changes. Granted, we will be doing, we'll probably do another like comparison, but you know, the main thing is that 5% difference in precisions really is not gonna make a big difference for things like Palmyra. But um, we'll go back to the drawing board and see if there's anything else that, that we could possibly explore in those archetypes. But we'll have an entire cut up on all of this. No tape in, no tape in. I mean, tape in, tape in's there, but I'm, you know, tape band is is good, but I'm in the same archetype here as as um, as cataclysmic. So, guys, y'all been great, man. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. To the folks that have been there here today, uh, thank y'all so much. 
I know this has been a very, very long testing session. We had some people cycle out earlier today. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate y'all very much. Guys, have a great rest of the evening, all right? See you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.